All right, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a navigation drawer in Android Studio, and it's going to have nice icons, nice items to be selected, and a nice banner. And every time you click on an icon, it's going to say item selected in a toast message. And also, if you tap on the icon in the top left corner, it's going to make a nice animation. So uh, let's get started immediately by going to our build.gradle file, where we are going to insert the latest mat material design implementation dependency. And after we sync that, we can go straight to our res file and open our main activity layout. And inside here, we're going to change our constraint layout to a drawer layout. And we are going to give it an ID of DL underscore drawer layout. And finally, we can get rid of this text view down here and we can replace it with a relative layout. And inside this relative layout, we are going to have both of the width and height to match parents and we are going to give it an idea of our L underscore layout and we're going to add a text view inside and this is essentially just the part where you put all your buttons and text views this is the real layout and under the relative layout we can add a material dot navigation dot navigation view and we're going to have a wrap content for width and match parent for height it's going to have an idea of NV underscore nav view and we're going to write Android layout underscore gravity and assign it to start and we're going to write fit systems window and assign it to true. And finally, we're going to add a app header layout and we're going to do at layout underscore uh, slash main underscore header. And these haven't been created yet. We're also going to do the same thing for menu at menu and it's going to be slash nav underscore nav drawer menu. But then we can go ahead and create the main header for our navigation drawer. And we're just going to call it main header and we're going to give it a root element of relative layout. And inside here, we're just going to write background and give it a color of red. And then we're going to change this layout height to wrap content. And finally, we're going to add an image view inside. And this is going to be, this can be any icon you want. You can put any image. You can put essentially anything you want in here. But I just decided to use the default IC launcher. So you can see over there, it's going to look like that. And right after that, we can go and create another Android resource file. And we're going to call it nav underscore nav drawer menu, just like we did in our main activity XML and it's going to be of type menu, and this is going to create the folder and the XML for us. But as you can see here, now that uh, red error goes away. And finally, inside here, we're going to give it a few items that we can click on, and this is going to be for our navigation drawer. So we're going to go ahead and create a vector asset for the icons. And uh, this is going to be the home button. So I clicked on home, I gave it uh, a name of IC home, and I changed the color to white. And then I just copy and pasted what I had earlier to make things a lot faster, but you're going to have to do this manually or unless you have them prepared for some reason. But then inside our uh, nav underscore nav draw menu.xml, we're gonna give it an item with an ID of nav underscore home, give it an icon of the home icon and give it a title of home and do this again for as many uh, items as you want. Then in our resources, we have to add these strings. We'll use them later, but uh, we have to write one that is for open and one that's gonna be named close. And uh, just trust me, you're gonna need this later. But uh, immediately after that, we can go to our main activity file. And the first thing that we're going to do in here is create a late init var named toggle, and it's going to be of type action bar drawer toggle. And then we're going to create a private function at the bottom called set up navigation drawer, and we're going to immediately place it inside the onCreate method so we don't forget. And inside set up navigation drawer, we're going to add a toggle, and we're going to equal to action bar drawer toggle with the context of this. And then we're going to insert our DL underscore draw layouts, and we're going to add those two strings I mentioned earlier for close and open. Then we're going to write toggle dot sync states and support action bar of null type to be set display home as up enabled to true. Then under that, we're going to write nv underscore nav view and set navigation on item selected listener. And then we're going to write a when statement with it dot item ID and we're just going to set true at the bottom so it gets rid of all the errors which are really annoying but we're going to add the r dot ID dot nav home and we're going to add a toast just to show that you clicked on it and we're going to do the same thing for all the other items we created in our menu XML and these are the IDs from there so very easy but it's also very 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 important that we override on options item selected because if we don't do this then nothing's essentially going to work but uh, we're going to write if toggle dot on options item selected item where we are going to return true. And with that being said, that is all you need to do to create a nice drawer. And it's very fast and easy to make, as you could see here. I messed up a bit on the XML layout, so I'm gonna go ahead and fix this in my own time, but feel free to customize it in any way you prefer. Like uh, if you go to colors, you can change the color of the app bar, and I'm just gonna change it to black because for some reason I messed up and kept it purple. I just like it when it's dark. And also in our XML file, I wanted to give uh, this text view a bit of padding so it looks a little more nice in the center and it doesn't really touch the borders. 
I prefer that kind of stuff, so I just restarted that and yeah, essentially just decorate it the way you like. And uh, let me know if there's any other kind of tutorial you want me to create, I'd be happy to make it. Just leave it in the comment section below and I'll look into it. But uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.